The Moritz House in The Hague hosts world-famous paintings. Researchers from all over the world got the opportunity to try out their techniques to map a very special painting. They work in a heavily secured glass cage because the painting they research is maybe the most famous one of all. The girl with a pearl earring. My purpose here is to apply our technique, which is called optical coherence tomography, and that allows us to map the stratigraphy of the translucent layers in a painting. This gives us a 3D image of the structure of the painting. This information is important because the thickness of those layers determines, among other properties, the gloss. And the gloss is very important for the appearance or the perception that the painting has to an onlooker. I am going to scan the girl with the pearl earring. We do that with this device. So this device does not only capture the color information, but also captures the 3D information, so the height of the painting. We do that with two cameras, and uh, by matching each pixel of the camera, we can determine not only the color, but also the height of the uh, image. It's just an image of the, of the face of the girl with the pearl earring. But what you clearly can see is that some of the edges of the craculeura are uh, repaired by, by heating the, the surface and then sticking it back to the canvas. So, so like for this example, you can see some kind of, it looks like glue, but it, I think it's just something else. You can clearly see that there has been some repairs done here and there. So it's really important to also bring the gloss variations in the 3D printed versions, since if you only print the color and texture, um, plastic has from its own a really uniform gloss. And if you really take a close look to the paintings, you see a lot of gloss variations because of the varnish or really the pigments of the paint. So you really want to take all these aspects in your replica. We can use these, this scanning data for the digitization of the paintings. So with our method, we have high resolution files of the color, the surface texture and the gloss variations. And normally they would um, digitize the painting with use of photography. We are going to scan in the night since we really need a um, controlled environment and we do not want any environment light uh, which will sh illuminate the painting. Not only Tessa has to work at night, the technique Tom is using suffers from the vibration that the people create when they wander around the cage. Poor Tom has to work alone in the quiet and empty museum. The, the most interesting feeling is, is that when you hear the silence, nothing is to be heard, all the galleries are empty and you really can take a small stroll along all the galleries and just appreciate the art in silence. It's a nice experience, I must, uh, I must say. <laughs> <laughs>